Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It is, oh gosh, it's Friday. It is Friday, June 28th, 2019. Um, for those of you that do not know me, my name is Sue Brooke, and um, my website is Sue Brooke with an E on the end.com. And I would love to talk to you. And I've got some things to share with you today. Oh my gosh, Susan, you're just my biggest fan these days. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you some tips today. So, first of all, I'm super excited. I have to share some really awesome news. Um, in the magazine, I'm on the cover of a magazine with my incredibly awesome sister, Kathy. Um, this is the Sebastopol Living Maz Magazine. Um, for those of you who, got, who do not, not know the story, I'll show you the inside as well. Uh, two years ago, uh, this month actually, I got a crazy message on Facebook from a woman that told me she was a cousin of my mother's. And just so you know, my mother passed away when I was only eight years old. Um, my younger sister was only five. And so I lost track of that side of the family. And um, so anyway, I this woman said, well, uh, my nephew put his DNA into Ancestry. So Ancestry.com, if you guys haven't done that, highly recommend it. <laughs> um, so apparently she our mother okay we share the same mother this girl her name is kathy right there uh she was adopted at birth it turns out after much research that our mother had come to california from nebraska in 1954 or so uh she got pregnant met a navy man you know got pregnant gave her up for adoption day one at birth and never told anyone. <laughs> so um, long story short, this is my sister. We've been, we've known each other for two years. I moved up to Sebastopol. Uh, this is the inside. I don't think this is online anywhere, but uh, actually I posted pictures on my Facebook. So they did a nice big spread on us. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because, you know, I, I love to give business and marketing tips to business owners and entrepreneurs. So here are my three tips. My three tips is how to put yourself out there, how to get things like this to happen for you. Um, how did I get on the cover? Okay, you want to know that? Um, no, I didn't just, I didn't pay for it. Okay, someone asked me that today if I paid for it. No, I didn't pay for it. I actually was friends with the woman who does this magazine. Her name's Natalie. She's amazing. And we were having drinks one night at a bar and, uh, you know, we're catching up. We're friends. And we haven't seen each other in a long time. And she said to me, she said, gosh, you know, the cover, the people that were supposed to be on the cover backed out and I need to find someone for the cover. So, you know what? One of the things I talk about in when I'm speaking is about opportunity. That's my favorite word. Okay. If you're in business of any kind, you need to keep your eyes open for opportunities every second of the day. Okay. I hope I'm not freezing here. So, um, automatically I said, but my sister and I on the cover, okay? I just put it out there. I took a risk, okay? I took a risk. There's Lily and hi, Lily. So here's the thing. I'm going to give you three tips to get yourself out there, set yourself apart so you can get more business, so you can set yourself apart from the competition. Although I don't believe in competition, that's a whole other Facebook Live. So here are my three tips. Number one, I guess I'm just going to start with this one. Take a risk, okay? Watch for opportunities and take a risk, okay? I could have been scared and nervous and said, oh, you know, you know, now, you know, what, what do you think about putting us on the cover? No, it's like, hey, we have a great story. We have a story that's really great. I think people are going to want to read it. They're going to want to know about this because you have no idea how many people asked us about that. Um, that have always wondered if they had brothers and sisters or maybe they're adopted and wanted to find their family. So take a risk. That's number one. Take a risk and be open to opportunities when they come to you. So always be watching, always be paying attention. Okay, that's number one. Um, the second one is um, figuring out, let me see, okay, figure out what your story is, okay? So everyone on this planet has a story, okay? Not one, one of us is alike. None of us are alike. Every single one of us has a special and amazing story inside of us that sets us apart from every living creature that's ever lived on the planet. Okay, there's not another person on the planet that's like you. Not one person has had the exact same experiences as you. Um, you have a story. And you know what's amazing to me, you know, when I work with clients or when I talk to people about writing stories for some of the compilation books that I've produced, um, 
it is amazing how many people just they go, oh, well, I don't really have anything to write about. I don't really have a story. But you know what? When you start thinking about it, trust me, you do. There's always something in your life that was maybe a, a, a roadblock <laughs> or something happened. Or like me, I got hit by a truck. That was like a big, huge uh, part of my story. So now, after finding my sister, this is a really big part of my story. So the reason that I feel like I have so much to offer you guys when it comes to getting you to set yourself apart and, and go out there in the world, you know, every time I do these things, one of my cats has to be a part of this video. Okay, so anyway, um, yes, there he is. That's Grigio. You know, I live out here in the wine country. Anyway, squirrel. Okay, <laughs> so... Whatever, so think about what your story is, what makes you unique, and what would set you apart. So, you know, when I first moved to Sebastopol, I didn't know a single person. I didn't know anyone. I had to figure out what my story was, was and obviously I had a very easy one because I just moved here to be with my sister. But this really goes to number three. The third th tip that I'm going to give you to set yourself apart and get known and noticed in the world and get your yourself or your business, whatever it is you're out there doing, is get out of the house, okay? People are not just going to randomly knock on your door and say, hey, I want to hire you, <laughs> okay? You got to get your buns up out of the house and go out and meet people and build relationships. I stress so much that you need to go out there and build relationships with people, make friends, get to know people, be completely um, open and aware and be one of those sponges that, that wants to know everything about everybody. So get your buns out of the house. Um, I'm not a morning person. I'll just put it out there. I'm not a morning person, but you know, I moved here. I had to meet people. So I got up early in the morning because most of the networking groups were really early 7 7 38 in the morning and i got myself out there and i met a lot of people so going back over the three again and i want to take all this time is get your buns out of the house go out there meet people build relationships with people um go out and take risks go out there discover opportunities and put yourself out there don't be afraid get rid of fear get rid of it you you know Anyway, that's a whole other topic. I, I'm reading this book that I was telling you yesterday, The Magic of Thinking Big, and I'm, I might do another video on that. So no risks, get out of the house, and um, figure out what your story is that's going to set you apart and make people remember you, okay? And trust me, your story is important, and there's always someone that you can help with your story. So anyway, those are my tips for today. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I would love to hear your story as well. Um, I would love to talk to you. So if I don't know you, or even if I do, and we haven't chatted in a while, please go to meetwithsue.com. Just go to meetwithsue, M-E-E-T, with sue.com, and that's going to take you to my schedule. Go ahead and set up a time, and let's get on a Zoom video chat, or let's talk on the phone, or meet in person. And uh, I'd love to hear your story. I'd love to find out how I can help you. And uh, I love just brainstorming business ideas. So anyway, you guys have a great day. I will talk to you soon. And thanks for joining. Bye.